Hey guys, it's Joe. And today I am doing a collab with the beautiful Candy Cos. I freaking love her. I've been watching her for about a year now and I am honored to be doing a collab with her. She's so freaking good that I'm a little intimidated, but this is not a competition. It's for fun. It's a collab in honor of Halloween. And I think she's calling her something else. Horror. So I think hers is gonna be like crazy. I did see a little snippet of it and I'm like, Ugh. but mine is more like the pumpkin queen. I am in the pumpkin patch guarding my pumpkins. I am nice, but do not cross me. Don't get it twisted. And I have my wand. So don't mess with me. But I prefer to be nice and sweet. <laughs> so anyway, guys, if you want to see, how I got this look. Stay tuned. Hey guys. So we're gonna start off with a white concealer. Doesn't matter what kind, just any kind of white concealer. Put it around your face, make it like a base, just so it picks up the actual color that you're gonna be applying. So I'm just putting this all over my face right now. And with my foundation brush, I'm just gonna blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. With my Back to Brazil palette, I am using the three orangey colors and just blending that into my face. I'm like, okay, this is taking too long. So I decided to get a different brush, something a little bigger. Oh yeah, much better. So continuing to blend that orange into my face. I'm noticing that it's kind of looking like my skin tone, but guys, it's the lighting. <laughs> it looked much oranger uh, in person. I don't know, oranger, is that a word? So just continuing to just blend that in. It looks like my skin color the more I look at it, but honestly guys, it was the lighting in there, but really, it was really orange. I look like a freaking um, Oompa Loompa. Now with my natural BH cosmetic palette, I am using their matte orange and just applying that on top of the orange and just trying to make my face as orange as possible. Now with my LA Slim Shady Brow Pencil, I'm just uh, outlining my eyebrows and I'm over exaggerating them a little bit, trying to make them a little pointier at the top. So just doing both of my eyebrows right now, just, you know, outlining them. And with my Anastasia dip brow, I'm just coloring them in. Now, I kind of wish I didn't do this, but you know, hey, it's too late. But I decided to make them a little bushy. Since I'm going for the pumpkin queen, I probably should have just made them nice and pretty, but I kind of wanted to be pretty and mean looking at the same time, like don't cross me kind of. So I went for the bushier, darker look. So that's why you see me making those little strokes of hair on the top there. If you make any mistakes, just get a Q-tip and clean it up. And then with your blending brush, just go back and just touch it up a little bit, which is what I did here. Now with my LA Girl Glide in the blackest black, I'm just putting it all over my lower lid. I'm also putting it in my waterline just to make my eyes as dark as possible. So I did that to both eyes. And then I'm just gonna blend that in, guys. Blend it in. Now I noticed with just putting that all over my eyes, you'll see it's gonna cover my eyes completely. Just checking out my work, mm, it'll do, it's okay. Now with my Wet n Wild Black eyeshadow palette, 
I am going and just going back in and touching it up and making it darker. I'm not going all the way to the top, just kind of like a little bit over my brow bone because I do have a hooded eyelid, but with this look, it doesn't really matter because I'm only putting black. Now, if I was putting two shades, I usually go a little higher because of my hooded eyelid, but right now it doesn't really matter because it's all one color. So just blending in, guys. Now with a setting powder, I'm just putting that all over my face, a translucent setting powder, just to set that color in. Just blending it in, guys. Now right on top of my brow bone, I'm just putting a little bit of highlighter. And in my tear ducts as well. Then I'm going back in and just blending it in to make it look a little grayish. NYX Marker Black Eyeliner. I'm just tracing out my nose here. And then with my LA Girl Color Stick in Black, I'm coloring it in. This part kind of tickles, guys. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to sneeze. Now with a little angle brush, I'm just getting in the corners and just coloring them in a little bit more. And then with the black eyeshadow from my Wet n Wild, just going back in and touching it up. Now with my Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, just doing my eyelashes, guys, because for the life of me, I still haven't perfected putting on Frosties. I get it sometimes, and other times I don't, and I get frustrated. My black LA color, base color, I am doing my lips now. Guys, if you haven't tried those LA colors, they're so affordable, a dollar, and they're amazing. Kiss eyeliner and I'm just outlining my lips. Now I wanted to go more for like, you know, she's a queen, she's been around for a while, so I was kind of giving it more like that veiny look. I don't know how to explain it. You know how when you keep a pumpkin too long and it starts getting kind of black from just being out so long, that's kind of the look I was trying to go for. So that's why I'm gonna be putting like little lines throughout my mouth. And then I'll put it in like different sections of my face as well. So just adding those little kind of like black veins is kind of like what I want to say it is. Just putting some on my eyebrows and both eyes just a little bit. Now I'm going for the pumpkin lines. And that brush that I'm using there is not an actual makeup brush. I got that at Walmart in the craft area. A pack of like four for like $3.95, which I love for like little details that you have to draw on your face. They're amazing. Now with a blending brush, I'm just blending those lines in to make them look a little bit more realistic, I guess. <laughs> blend, 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 blend. Now this is a Wet n Wild, I, I don't know, I, I showed it too quickly, but it's a new Wet n Wild like glitter palette. So I decided to put a little bit of glitter on my face and now with a white NYX pencil, just putting a little bit of white 
just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. Now for the fun part, orange hair spray paint. Now I got this at the dollar store, so it's not picking up the color very well, but you guys get the idea. In the crown, I, I just put a bunch of leaves and little pumpkins on top. All right guys, so that is it. This completes my look. This was so fun. I freaking love Halloween because it's the only time of year that you have an excuse to do stuff like this and it's okay. People are not gonna look at you and be like, what the heck are you doing? Even though I don't care, I love doing stuff like this for fun. Just don't forget to go check out Candy Cost and see what she came up with. If you have other ideas of what you would like me to try, comment below and let me know and I'll attempt it. If you wanna collab with me, let me know as well. And you know what? Hey, let's do it, why not? It's fun. Don't forget to click on that subscription button and don't forget to click on that notification bell so you know when my videos are popping and don't forget to drop a like guys and in the meanwhile as always remember to be blessed Mwah! peace out